It's Thursday, and this is the Morning Booster. Hey, everybody, it's John. We're back for another Thursday of opening up Booster Packs. And this week's theme is Teferi. So we are opening up another Teferi booster. Let's get into it. Or is this a Core 21 2021 booster with Teferi on it? I don't know. Point is, we're going to open it right now. So, for this Thursday, we start off with an Onak Ogre, Defiant Strike, Snare Spinner, Death Bloom Thalid, Goblin Arsonist, personal favorite of mine, Sky Scanner, another one I really like, Gale Swooper, you've heard my complaints about why isn't this a cat griffin but that's beside the point that's me being ridiculous life goes on so this i find to be an interesting card because of the fact that it provides four life and if a creature died this turn you gain eight life instead point being that there's that combo that we saw on tuesday involving the griffin airy so i'm starting to see some synergies here that i really really like between white and green doing probably a griffin themed deck that also builds on capitalizing or overabundant uh, building up of life. So I'm curious if I can make this deck work. I think I might try to throw it together for next week and just throw it on the show to see what people think of it. But I am starting to see a combo here that I really am taking some interest to. Again, I'm a casual player. This isn't anything competitive. Purely just something that I wouldn't mind playing around with. But going back to this morning's booster, we next have, oh, crap, wish coin crab. Everybody that follows the show knows I love anything to do with crustaceans, so seeing the wish coin crab always puts a smile on my face. Fungal Rebirth, target uh, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. If a creature died this turn, create two 1-1 one, one screen sapperling creature tokens. Interesting. So this is our first uncommon. Our next uncommon is Experimental Overload. Oh, so this is the card that's responsible for the weird tokens. I've been seeing those, but I wasn't sure what card actually goes with it. And now I know. Experimental Overload created an XX blue and red weird creature token where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Then you may return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Experimental Overload. Hmm. Very interesting. I am not savvy at the play mechanics. So I'm not quite sure what would be the best use for this card. Right now, all I'm seeing from it is that it creates the weird token, which has been something I've been wondering about. But I'd be curious if anybody knows what would be a good use for Experimental Overload. Uh, shout out in the comment section because I'd be interested to see what kind of decks actually can capitalize on this, if at all. All right, our third uncommon is Watcher of the Spheres. We've seen this one. So here we go now. Going back to what I was talking about with the theme of doing the building around, gaining life, and having a blue-white deck. We've got this guy here who's a blue wizard, flying. Creature spells with flying you cast cost one less to cast. So that capitalizes on the Griffin cards we looked at earlier. Whenever another creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, Watch of the Spheres gets plus one, plus one until end of the turn. So some great combos here. So I yes, I've got to sit down and do a video on putting together a casual deck that builds around the white-blue theme of creating flying creatures and gaining more life. I think there's something there that would be fun to play with at a casual level. With that said, though, our rare or rare or mythic rare for this morning is Radha, Heart of Keld, legendary creature or creature elf warrior. As long as it's your turn, Radha, Heart of Keld has first strike. If you look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may play lands from the top of your library. Okay, that's pretty good. And then for a ridiculous amount of mana, Radha gets plus plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of lands you control. So Zach is right now, or Z, I should be calling him Z is playing blue-white, or excuse me, blue-red. I don't know why I can't say anything correctly at the moment, but point is, he is playing red-blue. If he were to switch over to red-green, which we've talked about a little bit, this might be a useful card. Right now, 
he get he wouldn't get any value out of it because there was no other green cards in his deck. But if he were to make that switch over to red and green, I could see some use here with for him in casual play. Outside of that, though, we got a foil in this one. Capture Sphere. I hate Capture Sphere. It's almost as bad as the stinking Dirge Bats, but we're just going to put that one over there because I really care less about it, even if it is a foil. And then on top of that, we've got a Rugged Highland and then a Sapperling. So for today, we got Radha Heart of Kel, and we got some great ideas for a future casual deck. If you have any questions or comments about the Morning Booster or today's video, leave them on down below. Otherwise, and as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.